here with co-creator Ben Armstrong at Netherworld. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. We all know it's spooky season and it's the 27th season, is that right? It is indeed. Awesome, awesome. Now you have two new experiences happening this year and that is Primordial and Chaos, cryptid chaos. That is correct. <laughs> Let's talk about that a little bit. So Primordial is the big show at Netherworld. Every year we carry on the theme, the stories of Netherworld. And this year, the elementals have invaded our world. So we have a whole section that is underwater. We have a giant crack and we have fish people. We have mermaids. And then you go to an icy frozen world. And that's where the realm of ice is. So we have a huge woolly mammoth. We have snow falling. We have frozen zombies. We have crazy uh, apes running around. And then we go into the earth section. It's an overgrown jungle with a huge rock monster. And then a fire section. And that's just part of primordial it's a gigantic show walking through there it takes forever to go through and there are monsters jumping out from every spot and then we come out to this lovely midway that we're in have a moment for a break although there are still wild beasts running amok uh, but you can have a snack and then you head into cryptid chaos it's a government facility and there the evil boogeyman the most powerful cryptid of all has gotten into the brains of the scientists to capture cryptids so he could drain them of their power. So the place is swarming with things like Bigfoot, Mothman, the Jersey Devil, the Chupacabra, and they're, they've all broken loose. It's also filled with urban legends, things like the Slender Man, Siren Head, and other weird characters. So people are just loving the shows. They're both very fun, very scary, very intense, and very different. And they're both part of the ticket that you get. Let's take a little deep dive into your brain. How are you keeping the scary alive? Like I said before, it's 27 seasons in. How are you keeping it fresh? How are you keeping it alive? What makes fans come back? Well, Netherworld is the, it's a creative endeavor and lots of artists contribute to it. We have this thing we live by, give them what they want, People want haunted houses, they want scares, they want chainsaws, but we want to show them things that have never been done before. We like cosmic horror, vast monsters from outer space that come in or other dimensions. So when you come to Netherworld, you will see the things you see in a haunted house and you will enjoy them, but you also see things that are just absolutely bizarre. And it's always an ongoing story. It's like a sequel to a movie. You experience, it's got all the flavor of the original movie you love, but it's got something new and something twisted. And that's what we always do with Netherworld. Our true fans love seeing the stories progress, the new characters, the old characters coming back every year, like the collector. And that's just part of the action, part of the excitement, part of the fun. But we also really understand the feeling of Halloween here. And that's like this midway. When you leave that terrifying places, these terrifying haunted houses, you come out here, it's fun. Like I said, there's there's pumpkins, there's photo ops. It's just a wonderful experience and a great way to enjoy Halloween. Absolutely. Let's talk about the fan experience. What would you say is the ideal way for the fans to enjoy these two new experiences? What's the order? How would you do it? And what would you say is your favorite part of both experiences? So one of the cool things that we do now is we have timed ticketing. Years ago, we didn't have that. So everyone came all at once on the busiest Saturdays. Now we only have so many tickets. So you can really choose your time when you want to come. I would recommend you come early and uh, but even then it's still a great experience because we're really controlling the amount of people who can be on property. So get yourself a time ticket. If you want the extra VIP you can get a speed pass. That The minute you get on property, boom, you go right in. If you have a time ticket you might wait maybe 30 minutes to, to enter. But once you do get here just enjoy all the experiences, go through them all, definitely check out the gift shop. We have amazing stuff in there. So much Netherworld and printed merchandise. All the true fans will love it. Tons of vintage Halloween. But I would just definitely enjoy it. Take your time, take photos with the monsters, take photos of the photo ops, and to really expand your adventure, enjoy one of our escape games. We have five escape games that all have horror themes, including our newest, Alien Terror. <laughs> so you could book an escape game in the afternoon, get out of your game, and then get in line to go into the attraction and make a night of it. It is super fun, super scary. It's actually 
amazingly affordable when you consider what things cost these days. It's, uh, it's very inexpensive, particularly if you go on an early weekday. Now one of the things with your escape rooms is that it's open all year so people can celebrate being scared all year round. Can you talk about some of the other escape room options? Absolutely. That is a great thing. We're primarily open on weekends but you can book uh, as well on Wednesdays and Thursdays a special escape game for you or for your group. Um, but we have a huge variety of themes. We have Nosferatu. It's set in 1890s London and you're hunting a vampire. He's going to, you have to stake him before he wakes up. Then there's Haunted. It's a ghost lab and your family is cursed by the curse of the night hag. You have to send it back to the netherworld before it curses you forever. And then we have Sasquatch and you go into a cabin in the woods and Bigfoot is outside. He is very angry, pounding on the walls to get in. You got to figure out why is he so mad? We have Tiki Island, Curse of the Shark God. It's a beautiful Tiki Island and a lovely Tiki bar and all this wonderful stuff until things start going awry as the Shark God is trying to wash you into the ocean to have his sharks consume you. And our latest Alien Terror. So in Alien Terror, it has all the horrors of every science fiction movie you've ever seen. It's got aliens. You're being sucked into a black hole. The oxygen is running out. There's a crazed madman on the ship. So it's a scary one for sure. Absolutely. How can people get their tickets and follow you all on social media? Well, we're very easy to find. Uh, our website is fearworld.com. But if you just type Netherworld in any search engine, you'll get a million options. We're very active on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. So you can find us, or X, is that what it's called? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Formerly Twitter. <laughs> yes. You can find us on any of those platforms. And, uh, you know, or, or we're right, got a page on Google right there to lead you right to us. We're open 35 nights this season, so we have a lot of opportunities to come to Netherworld. And many people come, and then they come back many times and they bring more friends because like I said it's incredibly fun it's a whole night of entertainment <laughs> it's it's very reasonable I've been to a lot of concerts this year and I'm like man we're too cheap so <laughs> remember you better come this year because I'm gonna raise these prices that's your insider scoop right that's there right. best prices for a haunted that's house right. I have to ask you this what's the secret to the scare that you want everyone to know this year the secret to the scare well uh, I mean, what's the most terrifying one? I, well, I'll tell you this. One thing, when you enter our attractions, you need to look up. There are so many sets and things we have created there massive. They're huge monsters, giant facades in both shows. So keep looking up. But don't look up too much. If you look up too much, the monster might creep from below. We have so many awesome actors in here. And we have a lot of people who do stunts. They fly down on bungees and on zip lines. They come from every direction. And of course, out in the midway, the sliders. They run, they slide across the pavement making sparks. A huge fan favorite. Absolutely. Collector of Souls, what is your message to fans this year? You have got to check out these shows. The feeble attempts from the netherworld can only be overthrown by these elementals. Well, for this year that is, an encrypted chaos, we have got to find that boogeyman, destroy him, and bring the cryptids back to where they belong. So come out and see us this Halloween season, or I'll be coming for you.